Projects are the heart and soul of Frame.io. A project is a collection of files, usually video, but also graphics and audio. It can contain a single file or dozens of files, each with multiple revisions. It's entirely up to the team member to determine the criteria for a project. The left column contains a list of current projects, and the contents of the selected project are shown in the middle window. You can view the contents as a list or thumbnails by clicking here. The name of the project appears at the top, and you have the option of including a custom icon as we discussed in the last lesson. In thumbnail view, you can see a frame of the clip, its file name, the name of the team member who uploaded the clip, the date of the upload, the number of comments, and the status. Frame.io is private. Only team members can see all projects, and only collaborators that you have invited can see the specific projects you've invited them to view. To add a project to an account, you click the plus button next to the account name. I'll give this project a name. By default, anyone on our team can view this project, but I can choose to make it private and then invite specific team members. After the project is created, I can choose to enable Slack notifications and create a share URL. Under collaborator permissions, I can decide whether collaborators can download media, invite other collaborators, and share presentations. I can choose what actions trigger an email to me, comments, uploads, someone joining the project, and any change to the media. And finally, I can set notifications to everyone else for the same criteria. Once created, you can modify these settings by clicking the three dots next to each project name and selecting Settings. Now we can enable Slack notifications and generate a URL to share the project. Note that in the same pop-up menu, you can choose to leave a project or delete it. The project list can be hidden by clicking on the account name. Projects are listed alphabetically. When you select a project, you can see how many files it contains and the total file size here. The contents of a project can be sorted manually through simple drag and drop. If you drag one thumbnail on top of another, you create a version stack and the clip you're adding will be designated as the next version number. In list view, you can't reorganize clips, but you can create version stacks. Clips that contain more than one version have an indicator at the top right that shows the number of versions. Rather than sorting manually, you can click here to sort by date, name, type, size, status, and comments. We find sorting by name very useful for clips that are named sequentially like these lesson clips. And sorting by size can be helpful if you're close to your account limit and want to find large clips to delete. If you choose status, you can then choose to push all the approved clips to the bottom so you can focus on clips that still need work. Next to the sort menu, clicking the three dots lets you access recently deleted clips, which you can then restore. And it's another place you can access project settings and join or leave a project. Folders are very useful for organizing clips in a project. Just click the New button and choose a folder or a private folder. I'll select a private folder and give it a name. Private folders cannot be seen by collaborators, just team members. By the way, you can make individual files private as well. Just right-click a file or select multiple files and right-click and select Private. I'll set those back to non-private. To add files to a folder, just drag them in. You can select multiple files and drag them all in at once. Once a folder contains files, you can share it as a presentation by right-clicking. We'll discuss sharing more in a later lesson. You can also rename a folder, convert it between private and not private, and delete it. Double-clicking a folder opens it to reveal the files inside. If you want to move files back out of a folder, simply right-click the selected files and choose Move Up One Folder. Then I'll click the project name to get back to the top level. In the next lesson, we'll upload files to a project to share with others.